Hello Virgo and welcome to your weekly messages from the universe. Virgo, we are going to be looking at some tarot cards and oracle cards to reveal the messages that are here for you. I want to ask you to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell as I upload videos for you every single day. Virgo, if you could look at your sun sign, moon sign and your ascendant sign because this gives you a much bigger picture about what's going on in the energies for you this week in the website sorry in the description box below i've put in a website for you to go and input your birth details and the website calculates your own natal chart so you know where all the different planetary systems are in your chart Virgo. all right you are starting off this reading with the six of cups the six of cups is the energy of nostalgia looking at the good old days and thinking the days gone by were so much better than now. The Six of Cups is that energy of being happy. Happy that you got to experience those good old days. It's experiencing the joy. Maybe you literally are going back home. And in going back home, you are enjoying being with the familiar energies of your grandparents, of your childhood friends. You're just enjoying the past. Maybe you literally are moving back to the country, to the countryside rather. And with this card here, is that an energy that is really asking you, was really the past better than now? And if now is not as good as the past, how can you change it? How can you make it better? The energies of the six is all about harmony. So in your heart and in your mind, how can you bring harmony? Because with this card, there's almost that dissonance, that energy of your heart is stuck in the past. Your mind is worried about what's currently happening now and together it could be creating anxiety for you. And so this card in the divine are asking you, how can you move away from this energy of anxiety? How can you bring more harmony to your life? You are going through that transit, that transitional period, we all are. And so how can you create a better tomorrow and look at the future as being bright instead of looking at the past as being better. And we're seeing that by focusing on security, by focusing on your health, on your wealth, on your money, on loyalty, education, information, this is how you can create a better future. And this is challenging perhaps to start having to rethink about where to put your money, where to invest your money. Is your money in the banks? But to create a better future, you have to be willing to look at everything so that you can create a better tomorrow instead of turning a blind eye to the changes that are happening now and then saying that the past was better than what it is now. One thing that is consistent in life is that energy of change. And like I said, we're all going through that transition period. But understanding that transition doesn't have to bring pain. Transition can bring something better. If you see the future, we see our king looking at the future and being painted with red is passion. If you look at the future and looking at it with passion, with joy, with excitement, looking at it as magic is ahead. You start shifting your perception, you start shifting your mind to start seeing the good that could be here. And yes, re-educating yourself could bring the security that you're after because our pentacles is about our security. And so this is where the divine really wants you to start challenging yourself. How can you make sure that the future is loyal to you instead of a betrayal? 
How can you bring the energy of magic? How can you be the king of the castle? How can you be the king of your park castle? Bringing authority, bringing passion, bringing leadership to your family, to those around you, inspiring them to look at the future as exciting, as a new opportunity, as something that is beautiful, something that is even magical. As we start looking at our oracle cards, Virgo, we're seeing that our first oracle card is asking you, or rather telling you, that it is time to release negativity. This card is challenging you to look at your thoughts about the future because opening up this reading with the Six of Cups is an energy that is looking at the past as yes. being better. But really, was the past better, really? Or was it just that it feels more familiar, more comfortable? Is the future challenging you to step out of your comfort zone? And you might be in that energy of, I'm lazy. I don't want to step out of my, comfortable zone, my comfort zone. I was quite comfortable in 2019 and I don't want to change. Well, the future is coming nonetheless. And so we all have to get comfortable with stepping out of our comfort zone and looking at the future as an opportunity to create something better, to create more wealth, if we're smart enough to be the kings of our castle, if we're smart enough and wise enough to look at the opportunities that are being presented for us. So how can you bring the energy of excitement, of magic? How can you move away from the energy of Negativity, how can you release negativity about the future? We're seeing that the next card is saying, Virgo, that you are good enough. You are good enough to feel like the king of your castle. And again, the cards are sexless, it's the energy, right? You're good enough to be that authority of your future, of your life, to create abundance through your own capabilities. You are good enough to do that. We've all been almost brainwashed into thinking that we all need jobs. We all need to rely on someone else to bring in the money, the pentacles to us. But stepping up and realizing that you are the king of your castle and you have to rely on yourself because the people in your kingdom are relying on you. You're stepping up to your power. You're taking your power back. And you're asking yourself, how can I create abundance, wealth, through my own capabilities, through my own skills, without relying on anyone else? And you're starting by re-educating yourself about finances, re-educating yourself about maybe your talents and your skills and asking yourself how you can rely on that going into the future. So the next card that we have is asking you, it's saying rather, a time to give rather than take. And as the king, you are that energy that is giving hope. It's almost like your kingdom is going to battle right now. And everyone in your kingdom is looking at you to give them inspiration and hope, to give them that message of, we are going to win this battle. This is nothing. The enemy is nothing. We are better than them. And as your kingdom is cheering, you are giving passion, inspiration, you're giving people that hope and desire to get up and take their life into their own hands to create what it is that they want. You're asking them to fight for what it is that they want, to bring loyalty to the situation and together to create a kingdom that's going to give abundance, security and wealth 
to everyone. It's a win-win situation for everyone that's involved. So you are giving that pep talk. You are giving and lighting the fire and the passion and people are fired up and passionate and they are then willing to see the future is brighter than the past because of course the future is always brighter than the past but as we go through transitions as we go through changes it's natural for us to feel afraid to, for us to feel like yesterday was better but you understanding that no, tomorrow is even brighter. Let's just go through the teething pains. Let's just go through whatever we have to go through now and keep pushing forward because we have a brighter tomorrow. And so the next card we have, I wanted to see what energies that you are working with this week. And the energies that you are working with is the air element. And I love the air element because it flows. It penetrates everything. It's not stuck in the past. It can go anywhere. And so we're going to look at the book to see what this energy is all about because this is an important energy for you. So let's have a look. 25. Okay. So I'll put the card here for you. And as you focus on that, so... This is what the book has to say. Crisp, ethereal and decisive. The energy of air fuels the wind of truth and whispers grand insights. Clarity and truth are supported by rationality, reason, common sense and logic. Air energy breaks stalemates and stagnation through wise decision making and mutual understanding. Bring the quality of air to a situation by seeing things as clearly and, or, and objectively as possible. Focus on the facts and not the stories that we attach to the facts. Truth, calm, communication, comprehending the points of view from other people and prompting understanding from all sides. That is the air. Doesn't that sound like what a king would do? As a king inspires, as a king says, hey, let's look at the facts. Let's look at how beautiful the future is. And really, when we look at history, the past is not always better. We humans are progressive. It takes time, yes, sometimes, to go through that transition. But when we look back 10 years from now, we look back and think, yes, we actually, we are happy that that change happened. It's like when people started sending emails and other people were like, this is never going to catch on. Writing letters is so much better, it's so much personal. That is having that energy of the six of cup, being nostalgic. And people are like, no, but emails are so much better because they're faster. We're not wasting paper. They are delivered instantly. But it took some time for that adjustment to happen. And then when it happened, it became normal. So right now, as we are transitioning, as we are seeing the world having tension, having that energy of, oh no, what's happening now? We're understanding that this change is necessary because what is being birthed, what is coming, replacing what we have now is so much better. So, Virgo, go and be that king of pentacles. Go and inspire. You are the authority. And so this is the reading that I have for you. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. On that note, I'll see you very soon. It's a goodbye.